Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about uh, prints and basically I've been experimenting with making my own prints at home. So I'll show you basically like what I learned from that process and uh, give you some tips and stuff. And so I also ended up trying to print some stickers. So I will talk a little bit about that at the end. Of course, I'm going to be putting everything up online to sell. Um, right now, I'm just waiting to get my like virtual return address set up so that I don't have to like give away my real address, you know? But yeah, once all that is good, I will have a shop basically with all of this stuff where you can purchase some of my art. So I'll leave that in the description. But yeah, I'm still waiting for some like paperwork and stuff. But anyway, here is one print that I decided to do with all four of my designs. So it came out pretty cool and I'm pretty happy with it. Let me just uh, show you a little bit of what I learned. Okay, so here's my little print shop area. This is where I've been working uh, more or less for the last week, um, getting these prints out, trying to do my own little printing at home. Yeah, so <laughs> these are all the prints I've done and I am going to tell you a little bit about what I've learned and discovered by trying to make my own prints at home. Okay, so basically the first thing I did and the first design I printed is of course my mushroom painting. I had to and I just did some test prints on like regular printer paper just to see how it is and so that's what these are. As you can see, it's um, not very bright. It's, you know, printer paper, so not impressive, really. <laughs> this third one is also on printer paper, but I think I brought up the contrast on the picture there to see if I can make it better, but it, you know, didn't really help much. So down here is the professional inkjet paper that I got. I will leave links for the paper that I used in the description so you know exactly what it is. But um, this is just the matte, like, inkjet paper and um i printed it out and it was looking dim and then i tried it again i changed some settings and i think i labeled what i did oh yeah okay so this first one i accidentally printed on the wrong side of the paper so as you can see it's also pretty dim which makes sense because i wasn't supposed to print on that okay so the other two are on the right side of the paper so you can already tell they're brighter and they look better the second one I printed on high quality versus this last one I printed on photo quality. So photo quality is supposed to be like even better. And um, I don't know if you can really tell a difference, but like, so here you can actually see these lines here, right? But you can, you can see it here too. It's just a lot better. So I thought that was interesting. I was also confused as to why there were lines here. You can kind of see it on like the entire print. And uh, so I was trying to figure out what those lines are. But yeah, the only difference between these two is one was printed in high quality and the other was printed in photo quality. I was worried a little bit that I wasn't going to be able to use the matte paper, but you know, I kept uh, experimenting. So here's what I did next. Okay, so next I printed a different design to try to see how that goes. So I did another little test print on printer paper. As you can see, it's like kind of faded looking. It's not very vibrant. And then all of the rest of these are on the inkjet paper. Now, I kept printing a bunch of these test copies because it just was not coming out right. So this first one I just wanted to show you. It got cut off because um, it got like stuck and this little bit down here got printed on another piece. So just, uh, yeah, try to avoid paper jams if you can. The correct printer paper will help with that. Anyway, so here you can see there's kind of like slight differences in it but like this first one here i wrote it was too dark as you can see like you can barely tell kind of what's going on at the top and the bottom and the astronaut is looking a little washed out so i didn't like that this one also came out too dark and kind of dim and so basically i kept trying to use just like a basic photo editor to like change the color and the contrast a little bit and uh it wasn't really working out so again, this one was too dark, but I like the colors more. I'm pretty sure I uh, put up the contrast there, I believe. This one, I brought it up again to try to bring the astronaut back because it was kind of getting washed out here. So you can see he's lighter here, which that looks good, but the rest of it was okay. Let's see if I can show you it up close. 
So here also I was getting those lines again. You see that? I didn't like that. Okay, and then this one again wasn't as vibrant like this second to last one looks better and then i don't remember what i edited here again but it was dark again so anyway that wasn't working out and it just like wasn't looking right like there's those lines again and the color just like wasn't turning out right the black also in the background that's i i remember messing with that the most the black didn't look good enough <laughs> basically if i turned up the brightness then it was kind of like a washed out color and uh but then if i turned it down then everything else became a little bit less vibrant so it was i was kind of struggling with this didn't really know what was happening so i think i ended up actually pausing there and moving on to a different design but i'll just show you what ended up coming out at the end here when um i did actually figure it out <laughs> i finally figured out how to make it work so you can see this last one this last one looks really good compared to the first two right so that was the last one that i showed you in uh the last little set uh what came out the first time i tried printing it and doing like basic little photo edits to try to bring it out and it wasn't working so what i figured out is that you should have your settings on your printer set to photo paper instead of inkjet paper regardless of which one you're using because it just makes it look better so this was printed with the setting on photo paper while this one was printed on the setting of inkjet paper and i think that is what was causing those lines so i'm not sure exactly why it causes those lines but i mean the difference is pretty clear you don't see those lines on this one where i chose photo paper so this last one i am pretty happy with it and i think i'm gonna keep printing more and this is gonna be my final kind of print design what i ended up doing with this is i edited the actual file but i used like a better photo editing program where i could kind of tweak things a little bit more and so what i realized is when you're doing this so on your computer it looks like how you want it to look right it looks good but then a lot of times when you actually print it out it's it's not quite right so you have to actually edit the file that you're using and like bring up the brightness and the details. Really the main thing that I did is I sharpened it. So you can see the details here are a lot better. A lot better than either of these. You can see it's like a little bit blurry, right? So I cranked up the sharpness and it looks kind of weird on my actual computer, on my screen, but on the print, it looks perfect. So that was the thing. I really kind of over exaggerated the like colors and the sharpness and everything on the file. I brought it up um, so that when I actually print it out, it looks good. That's kind of the thing I didn't realize with this when I was starting this out is that the actual file might not be quite right for the printing. So keep that in mind. There you go. <laughs> My kind of pride and joy in this is using this glossy paper i actually have this leftover from a photography class from senior year of college and i never bothered to check if it works with my printer until now which it does and it looks great so i was using that paper up so all of these are glossy there's a little glare for you very nice okay so these are all of the designs that i printed and messed around with and so the two in the middle really didn't give me too much issues and the mushroom really didn't either the one that i had the most problems with was the astronaut like i just showed you but on glossy paper they were all coming out pretty much perfect i did tweak the file like i said a little bit i did that with all of them so i brought up the sharpness and messed with like how dark the black was and how light the lights was you know stuff like that uh i really would suggest using an actual good editing program that gives you more control i guess than just like your basic windows one or whatever yeah these came out really good on glossy paper i was really happy with them and so i ended up just printing a bunch of those and i have them ready i do have some in this stack that so about half of them are good and about half there's like eight maybe in each pile of each of the design and like four are good and four came out with like slight defects i guess and so i'm gonna sell those for a little bit cheaper but i can show you what they are they're not even that noticeable some of them but 
yeah they're there okay so there aren't necessarily like defects with the astronaut ones but i think this is when i was still messing around with the file a little bit so i think the last one is like the sharpest the cleanest and the first ones are a little bit blurry so that's really the only thing not really anything wrong with like the actual print so yeah that's that and with my comets painting there is a little bit of a mark on both of these you can see here those little dots that i don't know i guess like the paint dragged there a little bit or something but you can see it also messes up the print a little bit here like on the actual painting so yeah that can happen um i don't know what you can do about it maybe like try to clean your printer out or something make sure that everything's uh nice and you know in working condition I, I personally have never done that but i have read that if this happens you might need to clean out your nozzle it's barely there but it's there and i don't like it so that's gonna be like you know a dollar less or whatever but yeah and um i think the other ones had a little bit of that issue too i'll show you okay so actually looking at these now i just noticed that like most of these have a little bit of something so again that same little line there's one there there's a pretty big one there um let's see where did i see this one oh yeah down here you see that yeah so there's like man that's kind of disappointing i'm gonna have to i mean i'm gonna print more of all of these anyway but yeah i did not notice that so um that's a little frustrating i think these last two are okay but yeah again those same little dragging lines um are there on some of the prints so just a bit of a warning i guess that that can happen and to watch out for that so on the mushroom painting i had a little bit of that too um right at the beginning but it was like on the black part but it's like darker than the black so it is visible um so that's kind of weird too i'm actually also trying to figure out if the black is black enough honestly because in some lighting it looks a little more like brownish um oh yeah same same lines on this one just even more i think yeah wow okay um the lighting makes it look different so um in some lighting it looks darker and like more vibrant in some lighting it uh is a little bit more dim but yeah so i think i'm just gonna stick with this design but i might play around with it a little bit more and see if i can darken the background even more if that's even possible i don't know um but yeah so that's that's the mushroom ones so i just wanted to show you this also these two were from the same print and they both had this big big smeary line going down like most of it so um this was on the same page the one on the right i like cut it up and i'm basically just gonna use it as a bookmark which i think is kind of a cute idea and i just wanted to show you this uh but i was gonna do the same thing to this one on the left too and just like give it to a friend or something because yeah it's kind of cute and like you know this paper is like good and pretty durable so i don't really want to waste that and just throw it out but yeah i just like cut away all of those lines here and yeah gonna be a new bookmark for me so that's cute okay so these as you can see you might recognize the little blobs of my paintings but it looks very strange so what this is is the wrong side of the glossy paper <laughs> so i didn't realize but i ended up printing two of my paintings on the wrong side of two pages so when it came out it was actually like it was vibrant but it was like kind of like a watercolor version of my painting and it did look kind of cool honestly but um it did not dry at all i left it out for like a day and it wasn't dry so this is the aftermath after i smeared the ink off this is what it looks like now which it, do it does look kind of cool too and what i think i'm gonna do is actually use the other side and print it on the back or, or you know on the correct side and then i don't know also make bookmarks or something out of it but i will show you a little clip of what it looked like before i smeared it but yeah that can also happen so please make sure you print on the correct side because a lot of times these papers are not double-sided and um the other side is not made for being printed on at all because this happens it it will not dry it will not look right it, it's just it's not made for it so another thing to watch out for so like i said the other designs weren't really giving me any issues but so i ended up printing out on the matte paper and all of my designs and uh they came out pretty good i'm really happy with them and i just wanted to show you these two 
So to confirm my earlier suspicions about the setting on your printer before you print it out, changing it to photo paper instead of inkjet paper, I uh, printed another two copies. So this one was printed with the setting photo paper on. And, you know, it looks pretty good. It's, you know, no issues there. This one, same paper, um, the matte paper, but this one was printed on the inkjet paper setting. And so here you can see those same weird lines again. So everything else, everything else was exactly the same. The only difference is photo paper, inkjet paper, different settings on the printer. And that, for some reason, is what was making those lines. And so I don't know if you can tell also, but like, look at the blue, the turquoise color. It's a lot darker on the right on the inkjet paper setting. So basically my conclusion is if you're not sure, choose photo paper, photo quality, because it's, it's going to make your prints look better. I really don't know what's up with this inkjet paper setting, but uh, it, it's, it's not working. <laughs> so another thing I will say also is that when I was editing the file to like, you know, try to tweak it and make the print actually look good. I also used the highest quality, I guess, highest resolution file that I had to do this. Now, I, I made a copy. I made a bunch of copies, actually, um, so that I, I didn't, you know, mess up or, or um, delete the original file by accident. I already had some from when I was setting up my shop to uh, have digital downloads on them. And so I already had these files kind of ready. I just needed to tweak them for the printer. So yeah, I had the highest quality, uh, highest resolution file, and then I went back with a good photo editing program to make it a little bit sharper, a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more contrasted, and it ended up pretty good. Oh, actually, I did want to show you also the first matte print of the mushroom and the last one. So here, this will actually show you the difference between um, the first file that I used and the edited one. So this first one, you can see it's kind of like too bright in some places and then like the lines aren't very sharp. But so this, you can tell it looks a lot better. It looks a lot clearer and the light parts aren't kind of like blinding. Um, and also the dark parts stand out more. So here, oh yeah, same, same lines again that I was talking about earlier are there too. So no lines here. You can see the dots are very clear and sharp. The dark part under the cap looks a lot better. And you can also see the lighter dots I have there. You can't really see them at all on this one. And that was kind of an issue for me earlier because this didn't have as much dimension <laughs> as my actual painting did. And I didn't like that. I wanted that to show through. So here you can actually see those little dots. Uh, moving down again, there's more detail on the right. Just it's just better, really. It's, it's just a lot better. It's really, really important to make sure the file works with your printer and it's gonna take some trial and error and tweaking it to um, make it look good and, you know, to where it satisfies you. Because I know, I know us artists, we are kind of perfectionists, at least some of us. So um, yeah, if it doesn't look right, I, I can't, I can't send it out. So there's that. <laughs> um, yeah, it just ugh, it looks so much better, dude can't get over it okay okay so just to show you how it looks on my end here is one of my paintings and i did end up putting two on one page because i realized i can fit it on one but obviously if yours isn't this weird long shape you're not going to be doing that um but that i did that was like a whole other thing i like pulled it up in paint and matched it up and made sure it works with like the border and everything but i'm not going to go into that but anyway so here I go to print it and so the first thing I do is it for some reason defaults to landscape so I change it to portrait because I'm printing in portrait. Um, then I go down to fit here and instead of fill page I choose shrink to fit because otherwise it cuts off the ends of my painting there. So make sure that everything fits on the page because um, otherwise here as you can see it cuts it off. So shrink to fit. Um, then I choose the paper type and it defaults to plain paper, which makes sense. Then you see there's inkjet paper. I don't use that anymore. I've tried it. It gave me weird lines. It didn't work. You saw. So I choose photo paper. 
um, and then I go to photo size and so in order to make the borders right I change it from full page to 8 by 10 inches and you can see it makes it a little bit smaller but now I have the borders at the top and the bottom now which uh, works a lot better when I go to like cut it off and um, you know center my painting because otherwise I will have really really small borders up here and it really depends on what you're going for it might not matter to you but I'm going with the intention of probably putting these in a frame or if someone else wants to put them in a frame so you're gonna need a little bit of that border to make it look right so the page is 8.5 by 11 and I changed the photo size to 8 by 10 to make that border and make everything fit right and then the last thing I do um, I go to more settings down here and I choose output quality and I change it from normal so you can see there's a couple different options here draft normal high quality and photo um, I just go straight to photo because it's the best it's the clearest high quality isn't bad it's it's okay but photo is the best and I'm going for the best so that's the last thing everything else is already right so like color mode yeah I'm printing in color instead of monochrome so that's pretty self-explanatory but yeah so those are the main things I do when I go to actually print my file the quality needs Needs to be photo quality the paper needs to be photo paper i shrink to fit it on the page i change the photo size to 8 by 10 to make the borders fit properly and um yeah and then i hit print and let it print um yeah so that's my process okay yeah so i hope that was helpful so just to finish up the video um again here are the four designs i was working on printed on one sheet uh, so basically just one print um i only printed like three of these but uh let me know if you like these and i will definitely offer these as well so far i'm mainly focused on just uh, the individual designs um i also did a version where i had the three spacey bookshelf paintings on one so these three paintings were actually all done on the same bookshelf so yeah and then you know the mushroom was a, a separate painting on a different bookshelf but yeah i thought that looked pretty cool so yeah i ended up with um uh, glossy prints with some matte prints with like different versions that I experimented with and I also did some stickers at the end so here is one of the stickers of my spacey astronaut man hello can you focus no okay anyway um here's one of the stickers I'm really happy with it I will show you my mushroom one also so here is the mushroom sticker and um, I had a little bit of trouble with this paper. I kept getting sheets like this where there's like this blob on the corner. Um, here, it's mainly just on one corner, but I had a couple that were on like both the top corners. So basically those like corner stickers, I couldn't really use. Um, I did end up doing something fun with the ones that came out all blobbed and uh, I already used one of them uh, on my sewing machine. But here's one where it was just like the top so I just like kind of cut around it. On the other one, it was like the mushroom was blobbed out. So I just basically cut around this whole mushroom and just cut that out and just like went around the bottom two and it came out pretty cool. So I might do that with like the failed ones. But um, yeah, just to be aware, I will leave like what paper I used, but I was having trouble with it with my printer. It kept getting jammed. And, um, and then when it did print, there was like these bits of black ink in the corners. So um, something to keep in mind. It is pretty important to figure out what sticker paper <laughs> works for your printer. But I am managing to get stickers out of it. But uh, I'm struggling a little bit. But yeah, I'm really happy with how these came out. And I hope this was helpful. And um, I don't know, maybe this will inspire you to start making your own prints and stickers and stuff at home. Uh, I hope I could help. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like and um, I guess comment if you have any more questions. Um, let me know uh, what else you want to know and if I can help, then I will. Um, and yeah, if you aren't subscribed yet, I am an artiste. <laughs> I do all kinds of different things. I have like art, fashion, hair dye, a little bit of everything on this channel. So yeah, if you like any of that. Oh yeah, makeup, clown makeup. <laughs> if you like any of that, then you should check it out and you should subscribe. And um, yeah, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs>